All right, now that the Elite Four is defeated, and the main story of our adventure is over, I think it's time to enjoy a well-deserved vacation. See you guys in the next episode. You know, now that I think about it, Team Rocket sure mentioned a another kid who brought him down three years before I did. I wonder who that kid was. I wonder what he, what he was like. I wonder what team he used. Hello and welcome to Pokemon Yellow Version, or some have called it Pokemon Pikachu. As I said a long time ago in Pokemon Silver, that was my original first Pokemon game. And to me, whenever they talked about a hero from the past, I never really knew what they were talking about. Because at that time, I never even knew that red, blue, and yellow even existed. So, for me to find out years later that Leaf Green and Fire Red were not just a game talking about an event that happened before a game I've ever played, before the game I've ever played, I never knew that they were remakes. And for that reason, when I originally played Red and Blue, well, it was actually a very different adventure for me. The most difficult part of the adventure was uh, learning what things existed in later games that didn't exist in that game. And without further ado, let's begin our adventure. And this is, uh, even before the most recent generations where Pikachu says its own name. This was the original game that had Pikachu do that. And the con... Alright, sorry about that. Hate to make a cut so early in the series. However, uh, I forgot you have to do a certain code combination to uh, reset game staves. Like I was going to say, don't worry about that continue. I was just testing this to make sure it actually worked. And uh, without further ado, let's get started. Or not. Hello there, welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak. People call me the Pokemon Professor. This world is inhabited by creatures called Pokemon. For some people, Pokemon are pets. Others use them for fights. Myself, I study Pokemon as a profession. First, what is your name? Now, Pokemon Yellow is a little bit different than Red and Blue, where Red and Blue is based off of a character named Red, while Pokemon Yellow is based off of a character named Ash. However, I don't want to use the name Revital, and I definitely don't want to use the name Red or Ash because, uh, well, Ash is not who the original character was meant to be. Instead, as per my daydream of uh, who this original hero was, I'm going to go ahead and name my character Red. And as per the same uh, concept, 
I'm gonna name this character Blue. The original rival. Red. Your very own Pokemon legend is about to unfold. A world of dreams and adventure with Pokemon await. Let's go. Pikachu. All right, uh, starting off, if you go over here, turn on the PC, you can withdraw an item, uh, and you can get yourself a potion. What do you want to withdraw? I don't want to withdraw anything else. Another thing, I would always recommend turn the tech speed on to fast. It's just saves time. It just saves time, that's all. And as for Pokemon, I don't even know why they give you this option because, uh, as you can hear, you can click on it, but it doesn't actually do anything. You can't interact with it. I guess this was before that they could remove uh, sections in and out of the title screen. That's not true. Yeah, they don't have the Pokedex in here, so there's absolutely no reason why this uh, Pokemon should be on here. Professor Oak is next door. He is looking for you. Now... There is a quicker way to progress, however, I do want to walk in here and show that if you do go in here, you'll find that... Yep, Professor Oak is not around, so he called us over to his lab, and uh, he's nowhere to be found. I could go over and talk to the other characters, however, they become more important in a second. Instead, I just want to leave. I wonder what would have happened if I would have stayed in that first patch of grass and just walked le left and right. Uh oh. Look at that. A wild Pikachu. And with uh, impressive catching skills, Professor Oak went ahead and caught that Pikachu. For some reason, he had no Pokemon himself. Pokemon can appear anytime in the grass. Yes, yes, I know. It's not my fault that I have to do this in order to progress. And I was walking on top of Professor Oak's sprite there. You could tell this stuff was made a long, long time ago. I'm fed up with this. Yes, he is fed up waiting to get a gift in order to leave this town. Ah, whatever. Just wait there. Look, Red. Do you see that ball on the table? It's called a Pokeball. It holds a Pokemon inside. You may have it. Go on, take it. Hey, Gramps, what about me? Be patient, Blue. I'll give you one later. This makes absolutely no sense, because if you came in here beforehand, you would clearly see that this Pokeball was already here. Oh, never mind. No way, Red. I want this Pokemon. Actually, uh, he definitely got the better of the two. But I... Oh, alright then. Yep, Blue is definitely a spoiled brat. That Pokemon is yours. I was going to give you one anyways. Thanks, Red. He definitely got the better of the two. I caught it in the wild and it's not tame yet. The question is, do I want to nickname these Pokemon? And the answer is, because they are not going to be a representation of my Pokemon, the answer is no. I do not want to give nicknames to my Pokemon. Plus, it absolutely has no uh, bars held to battling, or at least in the sense of uh, friendship-wise. It doesn't really make a difference. So, Pikachu here is... Level 5, and absolutely nothing special about it with that Thundershock and all that. However, as you try to leave, Blue will challenge you to a Pokemon battle. And you'll get introduced to what I would call one of the main mechanics of this game. And as you can see, he gets the Classy Eevee, which evolves into three different Pokemon, but I'll go, go over that later. However, if I use this Thundershock, well, what was supposed to happen was 
what was supposed to happen was... Maybe it doesn't happen on the first battle, but pretty much... Okay, yeah, I, I could see why they wouldn't make it. Oh, what? Are you kidding me? That Eevee should not have survived that hit. And Pikachu grew to level 6. Pikachu learned Tail Whip. No, no you did not, Gary. As you slowly glitch out. Fight to toughen it up. Would you look at that? It's odd, but it appears that your Pikachu dislikes Pokeballs. You should keep it with you. That should make it happy. You could talk to it and see how it feels about you. Yes, because if you talk to this Pikachu... It does not like you at all. I think... I don't know if it has a base happiness. I did look it up, unfortunately. It has a... And, uh, animation for disdaining you however I don't think that was it so it might have a little bit of happiness with me which is act actually very important because I won't show it just yet it's the first episode so it's just gonna take a minute to go over a couple of the mechanics and I also didn't want to go in here just yet either if you go in this patch of grass you'll see that the world color changes color and if you talk to this guy convenient shop Let's visit us in uh, Viridian City got a potion and if you go up here in the original game I've done this so many times finally a battle I was wondering if I would make it through this whole thing without ever seeing a Pokemon Pidgey this is the first time Pokemon have actually had colors in their at least front sprites all the other times they look kind of like Pikachu here and I don't know what it is, but it, for some reason, my Pikachu is obeying me. The main gimmick of this... One of the main gimmicks of this game is that Pikachu dislikes you much like it dislikes Ash in the original game. And will not obey you because it's not your friend. However, for some reason, it seems like this Pikachu seems to like me. Or maybe it's just waiting till I complete the next event in order to start. However, eh, I'll push it off just a little bit longer. Not much longer, just a little bit longer. Oh, da, 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 da. So what you're supposed to do is go up in this first town and go in the Pokemon. This guy will ask if you know Professor Oak because you know anybody who lives in... Oh, it's twitching its ear, so it already likes me a little bit. It likes me more. Yay! He'll ask if you prefer know Professor Oak, because apparently everybody from Pallet Town just happens to know Professor Oak. Go down, run into a few more battles, and you'll see why I didn't go inside the Pokemon Center in a minute. As long as I don't screw up here. which I may very well have. Alright. So, Pidgey goes down with relatively ease. It's actually not that hard because Pidgey is part flying type and uh, Electric is super effective against flying. I can't remember if I talked to that guy in the corner. Regardless, what you want to do is come back down, come in, and talk to Professor Oak again. This was meant for the... That was text from the original game. Which was meant for a Pokemon that would not... That is not supposed to disobey you as you travel through. I've grown stronger. Checking out. The Pokedex. And in a minute I'll open up the menu. Those Pokedexes just teleported from the desk. 
Fulfill my dream for me. Get moving, you two. This is a great undertaking in Pokemon history. There's no need for you. Actually, he's got a point there, because uh, I have no intention to actually complete the Pokedex. I've tried it before, and as you can see here, the Pokedex appears right above the Pokemon when it wasn't before, so why this Pokemon was here when you had no Pokemon and all it did was make a clicking sound is beyond me. Alright, with this, let's move on. It's the first episode, and I do want to make a little bit of progress. If you go inside here, and as Gary was mentioning before, his sister will give you the town map. Find out where you are. I hate to go into my items a whole bunch, but as you can see, here is the map. We saw it briefly in Pokemon Silver. However, we only made it to that upper left corner there. Now, from there, I want to go ahead and just experiment with something. As you can see, here's a Pidgey. There's a Pikachu. This is a Thundershock. And that worked. Huh. Pikachu is not supposed to obey. And it was going to lead me into talking about an exploit in this game. Where if you have a Pokemon. And it has full HP. If you wanted to like you more, all you have to do is use an item on it while it has full HP. It will gain happiness for you using an item on it. However, you won't consume the item, so you can theoretically get maximum happiness before the beginning of the game. Now, that's why I didn't want to heal my Pikachu, because I didn't want to actually use the exploit. I have no intentions to use exploit in my games, because I want to show the game in a fair and legitimate manner. However, I will need to grow my happiness with Pikachu at an exponential rate, so uh, that Pidgey is very strong. Holy mackerel. Let's see how much damage, damage this thing does. Oh my goodness, why is Pidgey getting so many critical hits against me? Alright, go ahead and take this Pidgey out. And I grow to level 7. And that's all that was special about that. Go ahead and leave into the next town. And uh, I'm going to try to avoid using Pokemon Centers as much as I can. Instead, I want to go, and beforehand, if you went to the Pokemon and tried to buy something after getting the parcel, you would not sell Pokeballs. It's not until now. However, I would recommend you buy, I was going to say 10, but that's a lot of money. So I would say buy 5 of these. And uh, I would buy 5 of these. And there's really nothing else that will be helpful to you for right now. This Pokeball could be helpful, so I would recommend picking up a few of those. However, if you look in your inventory, you'll see that... Oh, those aren't are the first Pokeballs. So I wasn't going to catch that Pidgey even if I wanted to. Alright. Ah, I have to mess my around with my recording equipment because... Uh, it was not wanting to cooperate too much. I'm going to look at uh, the friendship guide one more time before in between videos. However, I would recommend catching a flying type Pokemon. It's not going to be important now, but it will be important later. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and cut to the part where I actually catch a Pokemon. Pidgey. That's even worse. Ugh, Rattata, what an ugly sprite you have.
I might just have to hope I get lucky with a Pidgey or something. I'll try a couple more times for a higher level one that'll live. it does uh. all right so I went ahead and caught a Pidgey because well it's gonna be important later on the tiny bird Pokemon do you want to give a nickname uh. as I said before I don't all right Pidgey will come in handy much, much later. It's not a permanent member of my team. Uh, it'll just be useful later on. However, one Pokemon I do want to come catch real quick is going to be over in this section. Give it a minute. Oh, wow. It was actually the first Pokemon. I want to catch a Nidoran. And the reason is because anyone who's played the original games or even the remakes of the original games will know that there's a gym leader coming up that is pretty much a death sentence for Pikachu itself. And for that reason, I'm going to want something that will survive. With that said, that's all for that. Now, I want to go and uh, go heal. I want to go heal because I'm going to need these items coming up in a minute. I also do not want to... I'm going to need these items coming up in a minute because I'm going to be going through a dungeon. And uh, I don't want to use them all up on just wild random encounters before there was a second story in pokemon centers this was the trade center and here's the pc uh no i have no intentions to use the pc just yet in the remakes in that area where i caught nidoran male you would find Mankey instead i don't know why they made that chan change but they did ah i've had my coffee now i feel great Sure, you could go through. Oh yeah, if you came here before you try to get the parcel, then this guy would be passed out in the middle of the road, and the lady there on the side would keep you from moving forward. Another leftover from the original game. Ratata. What a terrible sprite you have. A leftover from the original game. This guy was the original tutorial. I don't know why they bothered giving you two, in the, two of them in this game. Shoot, it was so close, too. <laughs> oh, that was actually a little funny. And this guy disappears. Uh, I would imagine a reason why they had him disappear is because, again, in the original games, uh, there was a glitch related to that man. And it was actually a file-corrupting glitch, so using it would destroy your save file. I know that one personally. How I miss that blast toys. Oh, well come through here there's nothing special it's just a bunch of ratatas and a lot of these areas are going to be blocked off by cut i could have walked around one of them however i don't find it essential enough to do that go over here and talk to this person it's a natural maze as this per that person was saying here is viridian forest and uh i would say for my very first video in pokemon yellow and Pikachu liking me a little bit more than before, I would say that's a good top spot to leave off. So, in this video, we started... In this video, we started a brand new adventure, going into the past, as uh, we imagine what the trails for Red must have been like. And in the next episode, we are going to trail through this game's very first dungeon.
See you guys then.